Hey, it's Dave at Green Meadow Lawn Care. I'm here today talking with our friend John Garcia from Atlantic Golf and Turf. And we just started having a conversation about heat stress versus drought stress and, and how we can eliminate heat stress pressure. We, we've talked about drought stress over and over, water and deep water. But heat stress, it's a little bit of a different animal. And John, being from the golf course world, he's seen some pretty cool strategies. Yeah, so uh, they are two totally different things. Obviously, drought stress is when there's not enough water available in the root system and the plant doesn't have what it needs to stay hydrated and do what it needs to do to photosynthesize and perform all its other functions. Heat stress is a totally different animal, and that is just direct temperature stress on the leaf blade of the grass. And um, it can be a real big problem. So you, you might have adequate soil moisture, but you're still experiencing heat stress. The single biggest thing that you can do to avoid heat stress is plant varieties that are not susceptible to heat stress. Okay. Um, and, and, and that comes down to, you know, ryegrass from the cool season uh, grasses. Ryegrass is probably the, the most susceptible to direct temperature or heat stress. Whereas turf type tall fescue and Kentucky bluegrass and even some of your fine fescues are gonna be much more tolerant to heat stress. Having said that, um, you know, the, the thing that works best in terms of kind of alleviating some of that pressure is a mid-afternoon syringe cycle on an irrigation system. So just a quick spritz of cooler water to kind of drop that canopy temperature uh, for, for an extended period of time, that's gonna help alleviate some of that and help the grass get through some of those difficult days. So I'm talking like one or two turns of the head however long it takes your particular sprinkler head to turn that many right. times. Uh, in most cases, it's like four to six minutes. Right. Somewhere around there, you're gonna get one to two turns out of the sprinkler head. That'll drop that canopy temperature anywhere from 10 to 18 degrees. I've seen as much as 18 degrees. Right. And that can last you know, anywhere from 20 minutes to three hours, but that might be just the edge you need to get through that day. Awesome. Great advice, John. Appreciate your help, man. Thanks, Dave.